G'day, it's Phil here and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be looking through 50 cent pieces again, looking for commemorative coins, rare coins and coins worth more than face value. Again we have my 50 cent collection book already partly filled with the uh, commemorative coins that we've already found. Uh, we'll go through the coins. As we go through the coins I'll mainly be looking for the reverses, just looking for the commemorative coins. The standard type is the coat of arms. Which looks like that. And I'll be going through all of those at the end just to uh, look for those coins that have come from years where no 50 cent pieces were issued for circulation and as well as low mintage years, uh, as well as some errors. And here's the book as we currently stands. We are missing the very first 50 cent piece, the round 1966 80% silver 50 cent piece. We have all the commemoratives through to the millennium. Uh, we're just missing the 2001 Australian Capital Territory Centenary, as well as the Queensland and South Australia. And then we have all the rest of the commemorative coins through the 2000s into the 2010s. And we are missing the most recent commemorative coin, the Aboriginal Languages uh, 50 cent piece from 2019. All right. So I've got $70 worth of 50 cent pieces here that we are going to go through. And as I say, I'll go through just mainly looking at the reverses and uh, then go through the, the rest of them uh, after the fact. So we'll get straight into it. And there is the first finds for today, a Millennium 2000 coin. Another millennium coin from 2000. 2000 there. And then last coin in the roll is a Australia Day Celebrate What's Great from 2010. Okay. First roll down into the second roll. Not an Eddie Marbo. 2005. The uh, Remembrance. I see that there's a robe card on that. 2005. So keep that. We have a, another 1995. Mary Dunlop, high mintage, but it's a very nice order that one, so we'll have a look at that later on. For another 2000 Millennium Coin, and the Millennium Coin comes with the Union Jack, the inner, inner cross incused in some varieties. So we look out for that one, but that's not it. Commonwealth Games of Brisbane. We have Australia Volunteers in 2003.
have one that's found very often, a resourceful from 2018. This is a not intended for circulation coin, so that's very nice. Feels a bit lighter than the others, but it's definitely a real coin, but that is a very nice find. I'll make that uh, the thumbnail if I can, that'll be very nice. Resourceful. That's the Melbourne 2006 Commonwealth Games from 2005. And again, Melbourne 2006 Commonwealth Games. student design coin from 2004. I haven't found that one today. Student coin design again. Sorry, that way. Last roll. Hopefully we get something out of it today. We, we found a nice, not intended for circulation coin, but none of the ones for the book that we're looking for, which is, you know, state coin, centenary of federation state coin, or the most recent uh, indigenous languages coin. There's a 2002 Outback coin. Again, Melbourne, 2006 from 2005, Commonwealth Games, 2001 Federation coin, Oh, and the last coin is a coat of arms, but on the obverse is the uh, 2016 changeover design instead of the effigy of the queen, so that's a nice find. But that's it for today. All right, let me uh, go away for a few seconds and I will check through all the other coat of arms for any errors or uh, years where there's low mintage and I'll be back very shortly. Okay, we're back and just... Uh, Went through the rest of the coat of arms. I only found another well, uh, some 50 years of decimal currency, the changeover. Uh, so that was the only other one I found that was of any note. Well, apart from this low mintage, uh, 1993 coat of arms. Uh, so that was a mintage of 1 million. Uh, so very happy to find that. And uh, I had a look at the... Uh, Renix book in relation to this resourceful uh, 50 cent piece from 2018 now it comes from the spirit of Anzac coin collection and there was a number of coins that were issued out of that that was uh, from 2018 there's no mintage figures on that one as yet although I'm pretty sure they they haven't they may update it um, in the next uh, book but uh, uncirculated they're worth about um, according to the Renix book about ten dollars um, which doesn't really reflect the uh, current price that they're going on eBay. Currently, you can find these for about five to seven dollars on eBay in this condition, uncirculated, uh, because they're carded. Uh, this one as well, the, two, the 1993, which is a low mintage, that's going for about five to seven dollars on eBay as well. Currently, uh, sale prices over the last month or so. So, nice finds. They'll go into the book. I'll put them uh, behind. All the the rest but uh thank you very much for watching that's it for for this week but uh if you liked what you saw please give me a thumbs up subscribe if you're not already subscribed and you'd like to see more of what i do and uh leave a comment if you liked it or didn't like it i'd love to hear from you all right talk to you next time bye